Yeah, I mean, I'm chilling. We about to open some packs. I want to see uh, who's winning the top 10 race. The city. Let's go to the city. Okay. February. YT. Does this top 10 race even matter anymore to y'all? The game is at number three. The game. That's the rapper. Twitch TV. Next style. Poor Boy Sin is at 10. At nine. I'm at 466 thousandths. So I'm close. You see, I'm close in the race. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't see any names that I know up there. I guess certain people just stopped grinding for it. Yeah, I mean, they hit the mark and then they was like, okay, I guess I could take a break now. Uh, yeah, you know I mean, I could chill. We could chill. We got our five attributes. You know what I mean? Top 10 logo. Arriving style. You know what I mean? They got all the attributes. You know what I mean? So, uh. I guess plus five to everything is pretty good. Poor Boy Sin is grinding though. To still be at number nine, that's the only name that I really recognize from the from the first grinders that were there. The game is up there at number three now. I didn't really think he was in the race at all, but it's been a long it's it's been a long time coming. So you know, who's there is there. It's crazy work though. All right, so I'm toxic. I'm going to keep talking about it. This million dollar lock in right here, this million MT lock in. I don't have any of them yet. Hopefully I get a few of them or. Or we just go ahead and pull what we looking for out here. You know what I mean? We looking for that Dirk Nowinski out this by. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a Kawhi Leonard, Invincible Kawhi. 100 overall, 100 overall taco, man. Come on. Brandon Roy, come on. So it's a lot of cards in here that I'm looking for. We already got one of these Dirk Nowinski's, you know what I mean? We got to put him in the ro in the rotation and see what he's working with. We didn't really get a good run with him in the last video, but we're going to open some packs. First things first, you see what's going on here. This Elite Pack, I, I want to open it, but I don't want to open it. It's, it's calling my name, but I'm kind of like, nah, buddy. No, don't do it. I mean, because look, you see who's in here. We got Dirk Nowinski. We got all the goats in here. We got the goats in there. We got the invincibles in there. We got a whole bunch of these hundred overalls that I'd love to get to a few of them. You know what I mean? But the problem is these dark matters. I would hate to pull one of these dark matters that I don't want. Like I would hate to spend 50 bucks and get a Paul Pierce. You know what I mean? I just don't want to run with that card. I mean, I would hate to get, although Chris Webber is my guy, I would hate to get a Chris Webber out of there. You know what I mean? There's a few players out of here that I would love to run with. That I would definitely love to run with, but I would hate to get a Patrick Ewing gladiator out of here because I already had him. I already ran with him. All A lot of these cards I have. So that's what's stopping me from pulling those. We're going to pull some of these smooth packs, though. We're going to definitely open some smooth packs. You see, we got about almost 600K MT, but I got some unopened boxes from the prizes that I need to open. So let's go ahead and get them done. You know what I mean? Let's get them out the way. Um, first and foremost, I'm looking at, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? I think it's these boxes. I'm tripping. It's definitely these boxes. Okay. So from our first few rewards, we got this option pack, NBA champions option pack and NBA champions plus option pack. So let's go ahead and pull this, uh, NBA champions option pack first. See who we can get out of that joint. We're definitely looking for some beefy out of here. And wow, it's looking like. It's looking like a wash to me, buddy. I don't know which ones of these go for. Which one is the most expensive? Because I'm selling them anyway. Dang, bro, that's tough. Like, for the fact that I think I can sell it, for the fact that I think I can sell it, I'm pretty sure I can sell these. Any, either way, I don't want any of these, so I'm going to just go for Julius Irving because I already have them, and I should be able to sell them or put them in an exchange pack either way. See, I can swap. I can sell them for 3K, but can I swap for 3.1? That's crazy. I think I think I just messed up. I think I may have messed up the church's money. I may have just sold the church up the river, but no, 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 no. We good. We don't get a splash loan out of that. But we can get a splash loan out of that, and hopefully we get something good out of that splash loan. You know what I'm saying? So do we open this first or open the splash zone first? We're going to open this NBA Champions Plus first. Who's in this plus pack? 
what do we get out of here? You know what I'm saying? Because I would love to have their opals. I know you're lying. I know you're lying. Well, since Jason Kidd is the only one that I know sells, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to go ahead and open that freaky frog there. And I guess we can throw him in the exchange pack too. Who does he exchange to though? We're going to exchange him for this deluxe. Throw him in this deluxe. We need three out of eight. We got three out of eight. So we didn't get anything out of our packs. That's, that's, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't know. I'm leaning towards, uh, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of nasty. That's kind of nasty, 2K, that you would, uh, oh, I mean, okay. I, I guess that's the way you're doing. You're selling, okay, we got million dollar lock-ins. The lock-in is a million MT, but we going ahead and we getting that out of the prizes, what we just got out of those prizes. Let's open this Marcus Smart real quick just to get him out the way. Dark Matter Marcus Smart. Let me know in the comment section. Do you guys want to see a playthrough with Marcus Smart? Maybe run him one time and see what his attributes are, see what he's doing. I don't really care to, but if y'all want to see it, I, I'll show you. Either way, Marcus Smart reward, we got him out the way. We, we probably should show y'all what he's doing. But I mean, how tall is Marcus Smart? I don't really think he's that tall. His hairline is uneven. He's not that cute. You know what I mean? Pause. But uh, I don't really want to play with bro. How tall is Marcus Smart? You know what I'm saying? All right. Excuse me. I had to pull up the My Team database. So Buddy is 6'4", 6'4 point guard. I mean, that makes the cut for me. But uh, I guess 93 three-point shot, 40 Hall of Fame badges. I'm saying like, yeah. I mean, I would call that a galaxy opal dressed as a dark matter. I'm not even going to switch the screen over for that. I just had to had to dig in real quick. We want to open up a smooth 20. Do we want to open up a smooth 20? I think we could open up a smooth 20 real quick. We got 500. We got close to 600 K MT. So, I mean, I'm going to make a business decision. I'm going to call it for y'all. You know what I mean? We're going to do a we're going to do a 400 K pack opening real quick. You know what I'm saying? Who can we get out of here? Can I bounce with something? And it ain't really looking too good off pack one. I mean, I mean, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We don't want that. Ain't nobody looking for that. That ain't what we checking for. All right, pack two, we get a gold card. Get a Victor Wimby. A Ruby Wimby in season eight is crazy. Another Ruby, a Ruby Bam Abadabayo is season eight is even crazier. Like, can we get something that's worth, you know what I mean? Something that's worth a bounce or two, you know what I mean? Um, are they going to drop my question? Are they going to drop Bronny James in these next? Can we get the next drop to have Bronny James included? Can we include Bronny James in the next drop? Doug McDermott out here. I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell y'all, bro. I'm not rocking with Doug McDermott. Brandon Baochamp, Baychamp, Buchamp. I don't know. See what pack eight got going. Pack seven, excuse me. See what pack seven got going for me. Nothing out of pack seven. Okay, CJ McCollum's. Um, this box looking dry. Hopefully we get some some uh grace out of here, something to turn us up. Turn me up. Can I get a Kobe out of here? You know what I mean? I need a I've been seeing Darius Garland all season, all year. Man, look. Fred Van Fleet. It's crazy. Can I get a, can I see that sweet, slow shake? Can we get that gold shake? You know what I'm saying? We need something gold and shaky out here, bro. Let me get something gold and wobbly. Okay, we got a wobble. It's a dark matter wobble. It's a dark matter wobble. Okay, I can't even get, i am got to train myself not to get excited for the dark matter wobble. You know what I'm saying? That dark matter wobble just don't mean the same thing. It's Rudy Gobert. So we got one of the lock-ins. We low-key can sell, bro, for a whole lot of MT, I believe. Maybe a third of what he's worth. I'm not sure. Either way, we got us a Rudy Gobert. We're going we gonna to bring a... I guess we can bring a Rudy Gobert gameplay. I'm not, It's nothing that I'm going to get excited over. And we got another wobble out of pack 13. Another Dark Matter wobble. I got to train myself not to get not to get hyped for the Dark Matter wobbles. We, we just got to... Oh... Okay, I see what y'all doing, 2K. I, I see what's going on here. So you throwing me a bone, but you throwing me the same bone 
over and over again like you're used to doing, okay, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to switch something up. Y'all gonna need to like flip a switch for me. I grinded all this MT up not to get these cards that y'all giving me, but I mean I gotta take what I can get. So that's just gonna add up to more MT in the long run, I guess. We're gonna get more MT back for the pack drop. All right, pack 16 is looking crazy too. Uh, 2K must have a head injury or something because what is going on here? We need something to shake for us that's not dark. Oh, it's another dark matter shake. Man, look, just don't be, don't be Rudy Gobert, please. Please don't be Rudy Gobert. Please give me a different, okay, all right. All right, we got a dark, another dark matter. Dirk Nowinski. I think we already have, no, we don't have this Dirk. This is center power forward Dirk. I think we got shooting guard power forward Dirk. Our small forward, power forward Dirk. I'm not sure which one we got already, but we got another Dirk Nowinski and I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start selling these Dark Matters sooner or later. I got a whole lot of them in the tuck. I mean, I they've just been abundant as as we've come into this, uh, this era of GOAT cards. I got a lot of GOAT Dark Matters out here as we get nothing on 20. Jordan Clarkson looking like he's gonna miss a free throw. Oh my gosh. 126k off of that Rudy Gobert. If I wanted to throw him in the exchange, which I'm not gonna do, we're gonna take that 130. To be honest, what are these reds exchange for? It'll take two of those for a smooth pack. I'm not really feeling that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm different. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a little bit different out here. So we're gonna mess around and just take this 139. And run with that. Just tuck that in the in the pocket. Why not? Why not? We would want to spend all our MT out here, but that's that's just not what we're gonna do. That's just not what we're gonna do at the time. What we can do though is go look at my collection. Go series Dirk Nowinski. Dirk Nowinski. So okay, we did get the shooting guard power forward Dirk out here. And then we just picked up this power forward center Dirk out here. How much can we get for bro? 63,000 for this power forward center dirt. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to start selling these just to get some packs going later on down the line, but not for right now. You know what I mean? If we were to open any more of these, I don't know. It'll probably be towards the end of the week. Maybe we'll see another pack opening towards the end of the week of these. We didn't get nothing bopping out of here though, but we do have a few players that we want to look at. So let's go into the freestyle and see what we can do with these players. You know what I'm saying? Not gonna lie to you, we in here, and this Dennis Rodman is low key it. He low key is a good asset. You could throw him at the three spot. His jumper is finally valid. Patrick Ewing lower base. Um, upper releases on Xavier Tillman. The thing is, it's the same jumper from the uh from the Galaxy Opal uh card that he had. But the thing is, the jumper is ninety nine. The three point shot is a ninety nine rating now so the jumper is more it's just way more smooth i mean it's just way more smooth especially when you up in the momentum he's good and his sigs are a little bit better i believe they changed i can't uh i mean not off off glance let me take a look oh right, yeah i had to pull it up on a database not not too many changes his post fade changed from michael jordan to pro 2 and then his leaner changed from pro 3 to pro two so everything is pretty much the same it's all the same same sigs his uh his escape move did change from ja morant no i'm sorry his escape move went from pro to trey young so now he has trey young escape so at the end of the day he makes him it makes him a little more siggy and then he has 99 everything stats with this 100 overall card so i mean it's worth it he's he's worthy he makes the team low-key if you don't have a bunch of one hundos that are better with tendency wise and uh sig wise, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I run him. And then up next, we got Derrick Rose. Can I call you Rose? He's Siggy. Derrick Rose is Siggy. Kimball Walker escape moves. You got um who's moving step back? James Harden moving step back, I think. No, that's uh Chris Paul's moving step back. Either way, the jumper is quick. Derrick Rose jumper on quick, quick. The tendencies for his shot aren't that quick. The leaner is on Pro 2. But, I mean, for the stop and pop, he's good. And then, you know, you got to understand that getting to this rim is nothing to this card. You know what I'm saying? 
You're going to get to that rim easy. He's going to get to that rim easy and do his thing down there. So, I mean, I'm loving this card, low key. Low key, I'm loving this card. It is locked behind the paywall. You got to buy the, you got to buy the pro pass to get him. And then you also get his amethyst card for next year. So I'm going to already be a step up on you guys next year. If you don't have his amethyst card, you know what I'm saying? We're going to jump in that uh, unlimited next year early. We're going to jump in my team early next year. So I plan on using his card next year. So, I mean, I'm loving this. Uh, I'm loving this Derrick Rose. New AP, big flood. You know what I'm saying? Next, we're going to move over to this Dark Matter Rudy Gobert. This Dark Matter Ruby, Rudy Gobert is a trash can. He has a 79 three-point shot. Um, I'm just not feeling it. He has low. He's kind of low. I mean, to be, to be a center, a 7-1 center, I'm not really feeling them. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't lie to you. I'm not feeling this card at all. It's not going to move. It's not going to move around the, fo the floor for you. But he has 98, 99 offense and defense rebounding. But the thing is, he can't shoot. Rudy Gobert's jumper with a 79 overall, even with a shoe on that, he's not even high enough to really get buckets like that. You may be able to pull out the corner with him, but you'll be most likely inclined to put a shoe on him, get to the rim with him, pick and roll style maybe, or just backdoor cut him to the rim. I can't even hit a shot from outside, really. It's 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 struggle. It's struggle field. Um, this this car is just not it for me. He's not it. I don't know. They could have kept this. He has a 95 driving dunk. He has a 98 standing dunk. So you may be able to post drop with him. Um, I don't, but don't don't expect this card to move around the floor too much. If I had to give this card a rating, I'm saying I'm giving him a B minus, a C, maybe a C plus, something like that. He's not AP flood. No AP, no flood. All right, now this Dirk Nowinski, this center power forward Dirk Nowinski, Dark Matter Dirk. Okay, buddy, is it a 98 three point shot? The jumper is a little bit, a little bit slow, but I'm not, I'm not really tripping off of it. We're gonna get him going either way. Like you're gonna get him going either way, especially if you up in the moment, up in the, blah, I cannot talk, up in the momentum. So it is what it is. He has a 98 ball handle, and you know what he's known for. What he's really known for with 40 Hall of Fame badges and 36 gold ones. I think it's 36 gold ones on bro. He's known for this fall away shot right here. He's known for getting in the post and hitting that fall away. So you get him in the post and you just boom, just like that. Work out. I mean, that's if you want to get that kind of gameplay in with him. He does have a 98 three-point shot. So he is, he is getting right. You know what I'm saying? Like he is getting right from, from out, out deep. A 85 driving dunk with a 95 standing dunk. I'm looking for this card to be. I don't know. I don't know if he makes my team. Just because I have some better players than that. You know what I'm saying? But he just might. I have KG. I'm liking how KG moves. So I don't know if Dirk Nowinski's dark matters. Matters. If if you catch my drift. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he matters at dark matter. His 100 overall definitely matters. His GOAT definitely matters. But his, his dark matter? I don't know if it matters. But it's not a bad card. The next player we showcasing is Marcus Smart. Boston's Marcus Smart. He's 6'4". He has 40 Hall of Fame badges and 28 gold badges. He's a dark matter card. And uh, the three-point is only 93. 93 three-point shot, but the jumper is kind of smooth. So it's no telling what you can really do once you get in moving and grooving with this card. My thing is, he's kind of quick sig. The sigs are pretty, pretty quick. You know what I mean? With a 93 bar handle, I don't see him as a dark matter card, really. I do see this as a Galaxy Opal card dressed in a Dark Matter skin, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? He's rocking. He's he's actually rocking Kimba Walker Escape. The moving behind the back is pro, but the moving step back is John Wall. Um, I'm looking at this card to be usable. It's usable, but it's it's still some some butt. It's the butt cheeks of the butt too. It's not really the 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 whole the corn holio, but he is he's. He's like a cheek or two. He's cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Just because there's better cards out here, especially if you have a little, if you have a little money spent on your team, or you've been, if you have the pro pass and you got that goat, that goat, uh, which was my first goat. Can I call you Rose? Derek Rose. You know what I'm saying? He's actually that's Derek Rose in in his own skin. You know what I'm saying? So, so I mean, this Marcus Smart is okay. I'm gonna call him just okay. 
But if you know, if you got stick skill, you know that all of this, all of these players are. You take my take my thoughts with a grain of salt because if you have stick skill, you can make these players do what it do, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you're ready to get out there and get right, that's just what I was thinking about these cards. I'm gonna give this Marcus Smart a B, just like I gave that Dirk. You know what I mean? That Dirk is usable, but at the end of the day, I don't want to use him. You know what I'm saying? As far as the dark matter goes, I'm just I'm getting in the mind state of dark matters don't really matter anymore. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a lot of hundred overalls out here. We got invincibles out here. You have invincibles that you can earn through uh different tasks. So, I mean, if you're going to go and play unlimited, if you're going to go and play 3v3 offline, if you're going to go and play these game modes that have these rewards involved in them, well, maybe we'll do a video down the line and I'll let you know everywhere that you can get what you can get out of here you know what i mean i mess around and and let you know right now you know what i'm saying if you go play multiplayer unlimited the top prize for multiplayer unlimited which i might have said earlier in this video like and subscribe for that look look at this power forward center tim duncan invincible tim duncan is not a bad card at all so i mean if you're gonna get to something like that you might as well get to it you know what i'm saying mitch richmond the salary cap that's what I'm that's just what I'm looking at. You know what I'm saying? These rewards are not bad. You know what I mean? If you're going to go play single player, it's it's a bunch of <laughs> it's a bunch of uh it's a bunch you can get to out here. A bunch of rewards that you can get to. 800 games in here can get you Tim Duncan too. Clutch time can get you what you can get out of clutch time. It's something out of here. Clutch time is still a Serge Ibaka. I mean, there's prizes out here to earn. So I mean, just it's just how much time you got to play the game, and if you're willing to uh to get straight to it like that, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna open up one more of these smooth packs just for good measure, just because I got a little MT, you know what I'm saying? So then we're gonna go grind up MT. I got a big grind to get to. We didn't get nothing out of them packs that we was expecting to get. Dante Exum, is he still in the league? I didn't think he was even still in the league. Didn't he go overseas or something? Didn't he go back to France or where is he from? I don't know. But um, we've done enough damage over here. Oh, wait, no, we haven't done enough damage. I forgot. We got a splash zone deluxe to get to. Let's see who we can get out this splash zone deluxe. We need that. We need those. You know what I'm saying? Either way, we need those. What's your big goofy looking at? So we got a little shake out of there. Is that the slow shake? Oh, that's a galaxy opal shake. Hopefully it's uh that lock in that we don't have. Oh, no, the only one we don't have is Lamar Odom. We might get to selling those, too. It might be salesman season. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Okay, we get a little Corey Maggetti. I think we can uh, we can flip Corey Maggetti for a little cash, a little MT prize. You know what I'm saying? Wait, we already have? I'm confused. We didn't have Corey Maggetti? I'm lost out here. I thought we didn't. Wait, we, did, we didn't have Corey Maggetti? Go to the player market. Player market is showing that we had, I thought we had Corey Maggetti already. Did I just sell him real quick for no reason? I'm confused. I am confused completely. I thought we, uh, there's a lot of confusion going on out here. I didn't know we, I thought we had Corey Maggetti. I could have sworn that we had, I, I also thought we had more MT than we had. I thought we had 600K MT. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to just uh, call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, we didn't have Corey Maggetti. Um, I'm not going to say that the game is cheating me because that's just not how things work. You can't just jump to conclusions on whatever's going on. Um, Y'all be cool, though. I think that's it for this video. Like the video. Subscribe to the page. Put that bell notification on, too, so you'll be notified of every upload. And, um, yeah, your mom and them. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.